because the degree of the numerator is exactly by one unit higher than the degree of the denominator. So this is typical for a slant asymptote. Okay, I'm going to rearrange all this like this. I don't expect this to be a nice function at all, but that's okay. So I'm going to start with um, the table. You may not like the table for some reason, I don't know, but do you understand how important it is? Anyone? Can anyone? You're not hurting my feelings, I promise you. Just tell me what you think about summarizing all the information. Maybe not in this table, but summarizing it so you have it ready for graphing. Does anyone want to say something? I think it's a lot to keep track of, but I don't really think there's any other better means to organize the data. It's the only way. It's the only way to, um, because you look at, uh, all my work is on three pages. If I don't have everything summarized, I will not know where to look and how to start. So I highly recommend organize everything. Okay, can anyone give us the domain of this function? And then when y equals 0, we know that 2x squared minus 5x minus 1 is 0. And I'm going to use my 20 plus, I guess, year old calculator for that. Because I prefer that versus anything else. So it has degree 2. And I have uh, 2, negative 5, negative 1, and solve. Okay, so I got um, x equals for the x-intercepts. 2.7 and x equals negative 0.2. Okay, can anyone give us the domain of this function? So anything but 2, when I plug in 0, when I plug in 0, uh, I get negative 1 half. When I plug in negative 0.2, I get 0. When I plug in 2.7, I also get 0. And now I need these. And that's it about the function from the function itself. Okay, so the limit as x approaches negative infinity from negative 2x squared minus 5x minus 1 over x minus 2. That's not a problem, it's infinity over infinity. So L'Hopital's rule. Uh, as x approaches negative infinity, the top is 4x minus 5, and the denominator is 1. And when x approaches negative infinity, obviously this approaches infinity. It will be the reversed situation for limit, for limit when x approaches infinity from the function. because I will get the same thing when I differentiate, but now I plug in infinity, so this will be negative infinity. I only need the limits left and right to show that x equals 2 is a VA, for sure. But I need those. Limit as x approaches 2 from the left, and limit as x approaches 2 from the right. Negative 2x squared minus 5x minus 1, over x minus 2, and negative 2x squared minus 5x minus 1 over x minus 2. Okay. Um, the numerator uh, 
I'll put it in the graph graphing calculator. Okay, I'm going to put that in as um, negative, parent oh, negative parentheses 2x squared and minus 5x and minus 1 and divide by x minus 2. And when I go to second and table, I will plug in uh, 1.9. And then I will plug in 2.1. When I plug in 1.9, I get negative. When I plug in uh, a positive uh, 2.1, I get positive infinity. So negative infinity, positive infinity. Okay. So I'm ready for the first derivative which is not nice at all, but it is what it is. The denominator is x minus 2 squared. The numerator, I'm going to leave the negative outside of the, of, uh, of the entire fraction, of the entire function. So the numerator prime is uh, 4x minus 5 times x minus 2 minus 2x squared minus 5x minus 1 times the denominator prime. Oh, maybe it's not that bad. Negative outside. Um, I cannot simplify in any way, shape, or form. So <clears throat> 4x squared minus 5x minus 8x plus 10 minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 1. Oh, at least something goes away. So uh, minus stays in front for now. And let's see what else. I'm on page 10. So the negative outside. 4x squared minus 2x squared is 2x squared. I have a negative 8x and I have a positive 11. OK. Where are you, my calculator? when I see that it is equal to 0. OK, I have 2, negative 8, and 11. Solve. Really? Really, imaginary solutions. Nice. Wonderful. OK, so this is, all is positive then, with minus in front. All is Negative, neg never zero. The function is always decreasing. I'll catch my mistakes in a blink. That's not the case. But it has, it has a positive lean coefficient, which means it has a minimum. And it does not touch the x-axis. This is always positive. This is always positive, And the minus in front. OK, according to what I found out is this. We'll see in a moment. Now it's the moment of truth. From infinity to 0, yes. From 0 to negative 1 half, yes. From negative 1 half to negative infinity, yes. From infinity to 0, yes. From 0 to negative infinity, yes. Ugh. And now I have to find the second derivative. I don't want to, but what choices do I have? So the second derivative, negative outside. Okay, the top prime, 4x minus 8 times x minus 2 squared minus 2x squared minus x plus 11 times 2 times x minus 2. Yes, I will factor out an x minus 2 ASAP because that's the only way I can clean it up and simplify it. So negative. So I have an x minus 2 outside. And now I will also distribute because this is gone. So I have 4x squared minus 8x minus 8x plus 16. And where is my prop? And this is gone. And I have minus 4x squared. And I have plus 16x and minus 22. Okay, I'm checking for a second. 
4x squared, yes. 8x, yes. Minus 8x, yes. Plus 16, correct. And then minus and plus and minus, yes. Wow, look at that. Oh, look at that. They must have worked hard to get this function like that. Uh, okay, so negative 6. Oh. Nice. Never 0, no inflection points. To the left hand side of x minus of x equals 2, it has to be negative. And to the right is positive. Done. At this point, I have to find a slant asymptote. And I can graph. So where is my function? My original function is right here. Here it is. Synthetic division or long division? Because it works with both. OK, long division. No missing terms. No gaps. Good. x times what is negative 2x squared? Negative 2x. Negative 2x times x is negative 2x squared. Change the sign. Negative 2x times negative 2 is positive 4x. Change the sign. Bring down the next in line. x times what is x? We don't lie at the top. 1. 1 times x is x. Subtract. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Subtract. So what I'm saying is that this function, 1 plus 5x minus 2x squared over x minus 2, is the quotient, negative 2x plus 1, plus the remainder over the divisor. This is the slant asymptote. So I go back to my table. Where is my table? I lost my table. And make a note. Negative 2x plus 1, y equals negative 2x plus 1, slant asymptote. y equals negative 2x plus 1, slant asymptote. Okay, we have everything now. Any questions before we graph? Anyone, any questions? Okay, I don't need anything anymore. All calculations are redundant. The table is the only thing I need. And I think I am on page 11. When we graph functions with asymptotes, we have to graph the asymptotes first. OK, um, x equals 2 is a vertical. And y equals negative 2x plus 1 is the slant asymptote. I have to um, find the x and y intercepts. When x is 0, y is 1. So 0, 1. When y is 0, uh, x is 1 half. So 1 half comma 0. When y is 0, I move 2x. 2x equals 1, so x equals 1 half. So 1 half 0, that was 1, 1 half 0, and 0 comma 1. I want to use the same color for the asymptotes. OK, so this is y equals negative 2x plus 1. OK, back to my table. Now the graph of the function. Negative 0.2, 0. Uh, 0, negative 1 half. OK, so opening downward, 
at all times, decreasing at all times, from positive infinity, crossing the x-axis, crossing the y-axis, and going to negative infinity. No problem. On the other side of the uh, vertical asymptote, um, uh, zero, zero uh, two, this was two, this was three, 2.7. From approaching infinity, uh, opening up at all times, uh, decreasing all the time, and crossing here from, the posit from positive infinity to negative infinity. Done. And this is f of x. What was it? 1 plus 5x minus 2x squared over x minus 2. With the graphing calculator, you have to put the slant asymptote in as negative 2x plus 1. So um, y equals clear. And negative 2x plus 1 is the second one. Don't forget parentheses. Um, what did I... Ch I just realized that... What am... I just erased it and I had it because I used it a minute ago. Okay, so uh, zoom six again, that's fine. Here it is, here it is, and the slant asymptote is coming. And of course the vertical one at x equals two. Any questions? Do we feel a little bit better now about um, slant asymptotes?